Hello friends, and welcome to Let's Play On Board. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo, full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. Information about that, as well as a link to where you can find this game, are in the description down below. Now, if you're a longtime fan of the Magic Man Mo channel, you might be thinking to yourself, On board? That sounds oddly familiar, like maybe I've seen it before. Well, that's because this is brought to you by the same guy who did the On Board game, but for PC. This is the mobile version, and as you can tell, it's already aesthetically different. It's got a bit of a cartoonier look to it. It's on mobile, it's 99 cents on the store. Um, at least it was at the time, last time I looked at it. Uh, let's touch to start, shall we? Mm, touch the start. There we go. Oh, I had to touch the actual touch to start. Not anywhere. Touch the words to start. Choose a level. So, of course, these levels are, like, difficulties, I think. I don't know. Move your ship by dragging it with your finger. I will. I will start with level one. I will be a, I will be a true sport. Oh, avoid the other boats as long as you possibly can. I, sh I shall. I will. And there's even a... Oh, what is this? Is this a power-up? What is this? Oh, it's a power-up. Well, I definitely want to avoid these piratey boats. Just narrow avoidance. Look, look, let's play chicken. Nope. <laughs> what are these power-ups? Oh, oh it's, it's changed it into, like, airplane. This is already a step up a little bit from the uh, other version that we played for the channel. Absolutely, because, of course, as you can tell, there's little power up -y things to do. I don't know what they do exactly. Oh, 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 I'm firing guns now. See, this is, this is a welcome addition to what we had before. Can I fire guns forever now? Like, if I picked up another power-up, would I lose this ability? I don't know. Oh, I may have already lost the ability, but I can. Chat, chat. Look at this. Fire. Fire! Fire! Oh, I'm, I, I, I might have missed that guy. My big old fat thumb was kind of in my way, and I couldn't see what I was doing. I have a, I have a bit of a problem with that a lot of the time. So what does this do? So he's not a boat anymore. Can I touch it? Or is that death? I kind of touched him a little bit, but I was kind of scared to touch it. Oh, maybe he was flying over me. Because I'm a boat. Oh. I don't know if that's true or not. I sh I'll try to run into one. Oh, let's try to run into one. It flies over me because it's, it's not a boat. Okay, this is a, I, I, I like that. I like that as a concept. I like the power-ups. Already a good improvement. Also, what does pause button do? Just just pauses. Okay, I wasn't sure if uh, if there were any other options or whatever in the pause menu. I was curious to know. I'm also curious to know if the level ends or if it's like sort of an endless mode and you just kind of go until you get as high a score. Oh, no, victory! Speak of the devil, we did the victory! Oh, and it's moving us to level two now. Avoid the other boats as long as you can. I will absolutely do that. That is not a problem. I will grab this power up, even though there's oh there's a boat, there's a pirate ship, a buccaneer perhaps, perhaps a privateer. Well, definitely a privateer if it's a pirate ship. I don't actually know what the difference is between privateer and buccaneer. There's a privateer to the ship and a buccaneer like. Also, I have no idea what that does. It looks like it makes me kind of semi-transparent, so maybe I'm invincible, or maybe I was underwater. Maybe I went into submarine mode. Oh, that would be boss. That would be a cool power up. Just uh, you grab it and you like turn into a submarine and you can go under everybody it would be functionally the same can i hit him no that's a crash i was wondering what that power up did so that was for science we crashed into that boat for science but yeah like a power up that would like turn you into a submarine and you'd go underneath the boats would be functionally the same as the sort of uh balloon one but i don't know it'd be like aesthetically different i guess i don't i, I don't know i don't know man I wonder what's different about level two. Are there more boats? I think there might be more boats. I don't know if they're moving any faster or not. If they're moving faster, it's not much faster. But there are a couple other levels, so we will find out what the difference is there. I've, I've been dragging my boat. I wonder if I just click on the screen over here. Okay, he won't like move toward my my uh, my tapping. Oh, oh, he moved off to the side. That was interesting. I wonder if that was as a result. Of the explosion? It must have been. That must have been it. Okay. So they, they, they can be altered a little bit. I don't know if... Oh, God, I tried to sneak right through there. That that got slightly more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay. 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 We, 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 we is gonna do this. Oh. How did that first shot miss? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oop. I'm out of ammo already. 
I, I don't entirely know what that power-up does. I, I, I think it just makes me move faster. I think I am dragging faster. Yeah, I think it just makes me move faster, I think? I think so. I think so. I think that is what's happening. Also, did that power up, like, spawning destroy a boat? Or did I just in imagine a boat being over here earlier? Okay. Uh, oh, that boat in the back's moving faster. Oh, it's trying to get around. So they don't clip into each other. They definitely have, like, a sort of physical existence to contend with one another a little bit. If that makes sense. They have a physical existence inside the reality plane. A dimension of real. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, I don't know how those... I don't know how those shots are... I don't know how some of these shots are missing exactly. I wonder if it's just because the hitbox on them is kind of like more center and oh that's super weird see how like if they accidentally run into a power-up they just poof and disappear they vanish out of existence that's really weird and interesting strange strange that is i mean i guess that's kind of nice because that means like there's never going to be a situation where a oh this is a slight problem oh god darn it as no oh come on it doesn't even feel that hard, and you get so far. I get so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I think, I think, I... Oh, how did I... Oh, I think there's a little bit of space. See, I got this big old fat thumb. I got this big old fat thumb, and it's hard for me to see sometimes. That's literally me with every mobile game ever. I don't know how you guys feel about mobile games. I just have a thumb issue. I just have a visibility issue with the thumbage, y you know, as you do, as, as, as one clearly does when playing the mobilic games. <laughs> Can we make mobilic a word? As in, like, of or pertaining to be a mobile? Mobilic? <laughs> add it to the dictionary! Add it to Urban Dictionary! Hashtag add it to Urban. <laughs> That's not a thing. Alright, you. Alright, you. I'm gonna get this power up. There we go. I didn't really need that power much. Uh, there we go. That power up as much. That power up, I feel like, is the weakest power up of the three that I've seen. There's the, been the speed. How do I to get around this? I think I'm far enough over. But of the three power ups, which is like firing cannons, turning ships into balloons, and speeding up your own ship, I definitely prefer the balloon one. As much as I like firing cannonballs. I guess, I guess that's what these are. It's just occurred to me that these are totally cannonballs. But I like th uh, firing cannonballs, but definitely the balloon one is the best because literally nothing can hit you. <laughs> then again, that being said, the downside is that it only turns all the ships... I'm not even going to go for that power-up. I'm not even going to go for it. But the balloon one only turns the ships on screen into balloons. I so hope that doesn't hit me. Oh, lord. Oh, that could have been so much worse. <laughs> if I was stuck on the right side of the screen when that happened, that could have been so much worse. But yeah, although the, the, the balloon one only turns things on screen into a balloon and not, you know, whatever else comes on the screen thereafter. 500 on the score. Can you beat that? I think that was a perfect score. Score? A perfect score. A perfect score. All right, level three. How much more difficult is this going to become? Will the boats be any faster? I should have I should have waited on that power up. By the way, my score is still 500. Oh, it's probably cumulative. So, like, if you want the highest score, you need to start at level one and go through all four levels without dying. If you start at a later level, you're not going to get the score from the earlier ones. That makes some sense. So you have to marathon it. You have to be able to marathon it. Are these, like, sort of Spanish inquisi in inquisition ships? They've got the, like, sort of Catholic crosses. Maybe, maybe they represent the Pope. They come from the Vatican itself to fight off the infidels. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just saying words. I am just saying words. None of that needed to make any sense at this point. Don't, don't you worry. Has Mo lost his mind, perhaps? 
Perhaps he's lost his mind zenning out, playing a little bit of on board for mobile. The mobile game for mobile devices. You might even say, I've got that cabin fever. <laughs> Get it? Because cabins? Like on a ship? Like ship cabin? Um, I used to think as a kid, not even as a kid, even as a younger adult, well, younger than I am now anyway, that cabin fever was supposed to be like. Oh, I can't. Why? Why am I stuck on the? Why am I stuck on the wall? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay, we're good. We're free. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe I was just missing. I don't know. But what was I saying? Oh yes, I thought that cabin fever referred to like log cabins, and I didn't really understand why that would make you crazy. Um, but that being said, I discovered upon great. Inf inf inflection upon great reflection that it refers to the cabin on ships because when you're out at sea you could be out at sea for like months on end you know back in ye olde days you could be out at sea for months and you'd go crazy just wishing you were back on land hence hence you hence cabin fever so there you go I hope we learned something. I'm not going to cite any sources. Maybe you should Google that yourself. But that is what I think cabin fever actually means. Victory! I actually died fewer times doing level 3 than I did level 2. Avoid the other boats as long as you possibly can. I will do that. I will do the avoiding of the boats. For as the... Ah, oh, now those are some real privateers. Like, they've got... The, oh, they even fire cannons of their own. Oh, that's going to make things way trickier. That is going to make things way trickier. Okay. Oh, God. I think it will. I mean, I still... If I just kind of, like, avoid being in front of them ever, then I... Ooh, <laughs> then I should be okay. Oh, look at that. When they're, when they're balloons, they still fire cannons. That's super weird. When they're balloons, they still fire... I wonder if the cannons can hit you, though. I'm going to assume yes. And just play it safe. Ha-ha! Avast ye mateys! I'll fire cannons back at ya! Back at ya! I'll fire my cannons at ya! Matey! Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! And a bottle of rum and coke! <laughs> okay, you. So now I'm thinking, what is the highest possible score is what I'm thinking about in the game. So like, if I had gone through and never died and never reset my score... Because I would have had to go through level 1, and 2, and 3. What would be the highest score? It looks like 2,000-ish? Is this, the, is this the last level? It might be. I'm Okay, I was going to say, I'm scared to go for that power-up. I'm going to wait for the pirate ship to catch up to it. Implode himself upon the power-up. Upon the buff. There we go. And bloop. All balloons. All harmless except for the cannons dropping from their... What do you call the, the basket? Is it just called a basket? In a hot air balloon, do you call the little basket just a basket? Or do you call that something else? Does it have a fancier term? Is it called something fancy? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just imagining little pirate dudes in a balloon just dropping cannonballs down to the water trying to, like, take out my rogue ship. I don't even have anything on my sails. I don't have a symbol. I'm, I'm just the House of Mo, and I have no not, nothing to show for it, if you will. I don't have a flag. I don't have a symbol. I have no place of origin. I'm just a rogue at sea. A sea rogue. Ahoy there, sea rogues! Sea rogue sounds like I'm trying to say zero, but like just failing. Which, once upon a time, I had a, I, I had a speech impediment that I had to take classes to rid myself of. And one of the things I couldn't say, I had a I couldn't pronounce the letter Z, Z as in Z or zombie. I, I it turned into S's. So like if I want to say zombie, I'd say zombie. I couldn't do Z's. So that was one of the things. I don't remember why I'm telling you that now, but that was the four levels. That was the four levels. I definitely would suggest, I would definitely like to say that we could do a lot more levels. Maybe even an endless mode. Uh, there, There's all kinds of things. That the, the possibilities are endless that could be added to the game. Obviously more levels, obviously more ships, more ships that do different things, uh, different speeds of ships, uh, maybe an endless mode, um, maybe... Uh, ships that do, instead of cannon fire, they could do other types of stuff. What was that one ship? There was a type of ship um, in, in was it a Greek ship? Like, 
ancient Greece or whatever that had like a flamethrower on it. That was a real thing. Maybe little dudes that like fire tiny little guns, maybe give your ship some health or something. There's all kinds of things you could possibly do with a game like this. What's the tutorial even do? Oh, it's a screen. It tells you the game objective, which is to stay alive as long as possible. It even tells you what the power-ups are, and there's three of them. That's the other thing possibly could do more power-ups. I want to start from level one again. Uh... And see if I can't get to the very end without dying even once. Actually, I think it saved my score. Look, score 1,840. Weird. So it seems to save my score. So I, I don't know if that's an oversight. Because I think for sure the scoring system could be changed a little bit. Like it could reset between levels. It could um, maybe keep your score. But like if you're playing on level two, it's a multiplier of two and three is a multiplier of three or something. And I, I don't I don't know. But what we have here, I, I'm talking about what could be done, mostly because what we have here is a very basic, very simplistic. I mean, there's four levels, right? So it's not like you're looking at a huge breadth of variety. Each level does kind of... Ah, darn, I try to sneak through there. Each level does sort of bring in a little more or something a little different um to what you can be what you can see as you'll notice like the sides of level one are very plain they had like little bushes in the other levels and stuff like that and of course the enemy ships look different so you do have a little bit of difference between the levels but other than that the breadth of variety is fairly slim mostly owing to the fact that there's so few levels and each level is relatively short which that being said if there were more levels then the level length is fine but because so there's so few levels like we could you can play the entire game in 10 ish 10 to 15 minutes um so what i oh my score's at six oh that's because i died lol. lol 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 i died i was like why is my score at six day i don't know but uh <laughs> I get careless and die. Also, I don't know what's up with the with the hitboxes on these guys sometimes. Sometimes they're fine. I guess if you if you really want to be careful, you want to make sure you hit them right on the nose. Right on the old nose. The nose noggin. But, uh... Yeah, like I say, it's, it's simple as it is now. The concept seems to be solid. So, like, think... It's basically like a shmup, but instead of actually shooting them up, you're dodging them up. I mean, you can get a cannon as a power-up, but it's like a dodge them up, right? And that could be interesting in and of itself. And it's not like there aren't games that do that, although I couldn't think of any names off the top of my head. But the idea of just avoiding things as they come at you. I would say to the developer, like, don't be afraid to uh, push what the player is capable of obviously i'd say include more levels but also speed up the ships um uh not all of them like you can start off slow like this is level one for example level one nice and slow you're getting controls down fine perfect but more levels with more speeds more varieties of weapons and that sort of stuff basically what i'm saying is what you have here is a is a decent template for a more complex game you have a template for a much more complex game possible here and you've got the theme right so the themes here with the your ship in water you're avoiding other ships um maybe a bit of a story element like who am i um like obviously it doesn't need to be a linear like story plot or whatever just a loose plot like who am i why are these ships after me whoops i didn't mean to run into that of course now my score is back to zero do you want to choose another level yes because i want to try to go through all the levels and see what the highest score is so, like, yeah, am I Captain Roger Osmosis, and I've smuggled 15 crates of sugar and 20 crates of rum, and I'm trying to get them to Spain, and the year is 1734, or, I, you know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, that doesn't need to be a wall of text. That can just be little blurbs of dialogue or speech or something like that. Something to sort of give you a little more investment in the game, and I think that's what... Uh, this game could really use is investment. Uh, why do I want a higher score? Um, think about like, I'm always going to bring up Flappy Bird. Think about like Flappy Bird. So Flappy Bird, the score was important because you were always trying to one up the score. You were invested in trying to get better and the game was really hard. So upping that score was really hard to do. Why am I invested in the score on this game? 
Um, and I say that not because I'm trying to criticize it, but so much that I'm trying to say, like, I noticed that it's uh, that it carries over between levels. Why does it do that? Um, are you just trying to go through as many levels as you can without dying? Is that the purpose? And if that's the purpose, it should be really clear. Also, like, what's the difference between uh, if I played level 1 a hundred times to get as high a score as I can, or level 400 times to get as high a score as I can, because I can choose any level. So that would be what I'd say, is like, what what is it about the scoring system in this game that is meant to make me invested in making it higher? You know what I'm saying? Which, of course, could be improved uh, if you had an endless mode and you had the functionality to share um, your score with friends, like either via social media, like a tweet or something, or a leaderboard, that sort of thing. As far as I know, there's no online functionality in this game as it stands currently. But that would be something that could uh, be added to improve on the, uh, on the uh, attachment, the investment the player has into it. Basically, get creative. Like I say, the theme, I don't dislike the theme. I like the idea of... of the, actually, I, I would even go so far as to, to say, like, if if you make me the pirate and all these other ships, like, different, uh, uh, like, military vessels of some old time trying to take me down and all the power-ups are, like, smuggled goods. Like, so, like, if you pick up the cannon, the cannonball can be a cannonball, because that makes too much sense. But, like, maybe the uh, one that makes you faster is actually a crate of rum or whatever. And you pick that up, and that gives you your speed boost or whatever. And then, like, the, you know, and then the one that, like, turns everyone into balloons. I have no idea what the one that turns everyone into balloons would be. I'm just, I'm just saying that, that would help the theming a little bit. Not that there's anything wrong with the current look of the power-ups as they stand now. I'm just spitballing ideas to match the theme. Along with that, though, I guess what you could do is even like maybe uh, like another power up would be like a crate of molasses that makes the ship slower, um, which would give you more reaction time, obviously, which would be really beneficial in, say, like level five. The ships are double speed or whatever, and then like it introduces the new power up. And if you get that power, by the way, I just ran into that ship. I tried. I tried to avoid that ship so hard. I'm so. I'm so friggin' bad at this. Let's go to, like, level 4. For some reason, level 2 is the bane of my existence. For some reason, level 2 is just what really gets me. It gets me going. Also, that power-up, I should have waited until it was lower so I could have maximized how many ships were on screen. Um, that would, I mean, that would have uh, been the better idea there, but... And I would say probably to tighten up the hitboxes a little bit, because you can get... You can get kind of close. I'm trying to see if that ship over there is going to bump into... Well, maybe the hitboxes are okay. I don't know. Sometimes it just looks like things don't quite, like, don't quite touch and they bounce off each other. But maybe that's just me. I can't quite tell. You guys will be able to see on screen easier than I can with my with my fingers in the way, obviously. Sometimes it's a little a little tricky. Every mobile game suffers from the fact that your thumbs are the controllers. Also, how do I earn scores? Every time a ship, yeah, it's every time a ship makes it to the bottom. So it looks like every ship gives me like 10 points. Yeah. That's about, that's about what I have to say for this game. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about a, a game of this type in general, like a dodge em up game. What could, what kind of additional things? levels, themes, power-ups, stuff you can possibly do. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm seeing here. It's like, it's a good template. Like, this is something if I was developing a game. If it was me. I'm an, I'm an amateur, alright? My ability to develop games, I've dabbled a little bit. So I know how to make a few things. Stupid basic. We're talking about stupid, stupid basic. Not even on this level. So, like, if it were me making this, I would be super proud of this. But, like, it's also, you have to consider, too, in the mobile market, the competition. Right? Like, all the different kinds of games out there. What is it that, we, that, that makes this one... Whoopsie, I didn't see that cannonball there. What makes this one super special? What makes this one, like, what is it alluring about this that would bring someone to uh, recommend it to their friends? You know what I'm saying? For Flappy Bird, it was the difficulty, right? For other games, it's other stuff. 
I'll always refer, <laughs> I'm always gonna refer back to Flappy. I've still got Flappy Bird literally installed into this phone. I <laughs> I, I still play that game every now and again when I'm bored and I don't have access to internet. And that's one of the, one of the nice things. That's the, one of the nice things about this being 99 cents is that there's no ads in it the downside is you have to ask your you have to ask the player like to to uh to uh, invest that 99 cents into the game it's like well you know you have to sell it you have to sell it <laughs> be like how can i convince you this is worth your time and this is not me trying to say it is or isn't. For those of you watching, that's going to have to be up to you entirely. Like, would this be something you're into playing? In its current state. And it's good for like 10 minutes worth of fun. Is that worth it to you? You have to decide for yourself. I'm going to hit that. Oh, I forgot they can still shoot the cannonballs. But of, but of course they can. Well, that's going to do it for me. I think I've given about all the advice I can possibly think of. Uh, I think I've get. I think I've pretty much synopsied, synapsied the game. I've, I've reviewed it basically as best as I think I possibly can. Um, not that I do reviews, but a critique, a commentary on the game. I critiqued and commentaried on the game about as much as I can possibly think about. So if you enjoyed this episode, please, guys, do all the things. Um, if you're looking for this game, the link for it is in the description down below. But whatever you guys do, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode of Magic Mad Mo. Bye!